have one rule that applies to one section of society and then another for another section of society. And you know what I'm saying? If you belong to a certain cadre of politicians, there are things that you say that have to be debunked. And sometimes somebody comes to say, that's not exactly what he said. And then he goes under the carpet. But a simple man or somebody on the other divide says the same thing and the police comes for you. So what's the balance? Well, everything still comes down to the leaders. Take it or leave it. Until we have a leader that will be able to say, this is what the law is. I want to apply it. You say this regardless of the party you belong to, regardless of the religion, or regardless of being this from, this, from the same ethnic group, I am, we are going to be treated the same way every other person will be treated. But it's just unfortunately in Nigeria. We are so sentimental about everything. We don't want to offend some people. When the government is standing up to say, oh, this person has offended or someone has been arrested, a group of people, whether a religion group, whether ethnic group, they will come out and protest or write to the government. You are wish hunting us, wish hunting the guy because the guy is not for, he does not believe in the same faith as you are. Or it's because the guy is from another part of the country. So it's a problem. It's a leadership problem. It's a leadership problem, which I believe that until we have someone who is ready to step on toes, who is ready to put his feet on ground, uh, this unity will continue, and it will continue even more than, well, it will be worse more than what we are seeing now. But at some point in Nigeria's life, we thought that the president was that man who was ready to step on toes and not look back. Is that still the case? You mean this sitting president? Yes, of course. I'm not saying the sitting president ready to step on toes. That is just the fact. But I'm guessing that that was the popular opinion, hence the reason why the people massively voted for him in, in 2015. 2015. Yes, we did that in 2015 because we look at his antecedent, what he did in 1984 to what he did, uh, to 84 to 85. That was one of the reasons why he was voted. But when the man came in in 2015, it disappointed a lot of people. It is the government, it is his own government that will support someone who has been allegedly uh, accused of owing properties abroad or owing millions of naira, it is his own government that will come out the following day and say, no, it is a lie, it's wish hunting. That is not true. Without doing necessary investigation to really know the truth about the facts before the populace. So, for this, as far as I'm concerned, the sitting government is not ready to sit on, uh, to step on toes, and I am not seeing it even before the end of his own uh, uh, tenure.